Welcome back, it's Bray. We will be discussing how to color correct any blemishes or dark under eye circles, how to apply full coverage foundation, and how to highlight and contour to create dimension on your face. This isn't intended for every day, unless that's how you roll, but it's more so for special occasions like weddings, photo shoots, um, birthdays, things where you're going to be photographed a lot. Uh, we'll discuss an everyday wearable look later. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, stay tuned. You'll need a color correcting concealer palette. There's one by MAC or one by Coastal Sense. A full coverage foundation. This is Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. A concealer brush. A densely packed buffing brush. Lavender counteracts yellowish bruises and is used to brighten a sallow complexion. Green neutralizes redness from blemishes or rosacea. Yellow neutralizes deep blue or purple circles for very fair to light skin tone. Orange neutralizes gray circles or dark spots on darker skin tones. This is the one we'll be using today. Starting with the orange color corrector, I'm going to put it all over the dark spots I have on my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, my chin, and underneath my eyes. It's best to use this underneath your foundation. If you need to, this color can be put on top of foundation and blended out well.
now you can see all of the places that are the valleys of your face. These are the places where you want to add definition. Underneath your cheekbones, in the hollows of your cheeks. You also want to do it around the perimeter of your face to make it look like your makeup gradually starts from your hairline on down. You also want to hide any double chin that you have and you want to do down your jawline and around your mouth just a little bit. Many of us want to streamline our nose, but we don't have the money for a nose job. Here's the best way to get the effect of a slimmer nose without paying a lot of money. So you want to just go down the sides of the bridge of your nose and create a new shadow that will give the illusion of a thinner, sleeker nose. Now you want to use your all over face powder to go over everything, buff off the excess powder from setting your highlight and giving yourself a nice coverage where everything looks complete and clean. Don't forget to really wipe under your eyes very well. Powder can get stuck under there and it will show in pictures. So there you have it. I look forward to seeing you next week for finishing touches, liner, and lashes.